I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. together today and we're gonna make a ham so this is a Christmas ham Elsie's still recovering from her knee surgery so she's not quite back to her old self yet so she might not be as chipper today as she normally is so <laughs> bear with her so all right so we are gonna wrap this with tin foil we're gonna do this in the crock pot it's small enough that it will fit in the crock pot so that's good so we're going to cover this up and cook it for two hours and in the meantime, right before we get ready to start basting it, we are going to take you to the stove and we're going to make up a glaze that is going to knock your socks off. It's going to be something that you won't expect for it to be a holiday glaze. So we'll go ahead and get this started. This is going to cook for four, four and a half hours on low and uh, we're going to cook it for two before we start basting all right we will see you shortly when we come back to start basting now we are making our glaze so that's dr pepper apple cider vinegar we have brown sugar cinnamon and ground cloves ground mustard spicy ground mustard this will be like your Dijon sorry Elsie I gave you the smallest one and it doesn't seem to be small enough okay And we're gonna let this cook on medium and we're going to allow it to melt the sugars then it's going to thicken up the consistency and then we will be ready to start glazing our ham so the surprise factor in this is the ground spicy mustard which is the Dijon mustard and the Dr. Pepper all right guys, we'll be back when it's boiling and it's getting thick. So it is at a nice boil here. It's still trying to thicken up. So I'm gonna continue to whisk this slowly. I'm not gonna over whisk it now that I've got the mustard reincorporated in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it continue to thicken up to a syrup consistency and then we'll be ready to start basting our ham. Hey y'all, so I think we are almost to a syrup consistency here. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the heat. And we're going to start basting our ham in just a moment. Elsie is putting our glaze on our spiral cut ham. This was already fully cooked. And what she's doing is glazing it up. So it gets all those flavors down into the slices. We're gonna be doing this every 20 minutes for the next hour and 50 minutes. So we'll be making quite a few trips in here and we'll show you what it looks like at the end when we're done. It's gonna be so good y'all, it smells so good. Look at that. All right, guys, we'll be back.
I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.